Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here rolling solo dolo on this Madden 20 Browns franchise season 3 in review. Uh, we, uh, spoiler alert, we went and won our third Super Bowl in a row, there's all three trophies. There's our coach, Mr. Freddie Kitchens. So we're just going to kind of do a quick review of the season, uh, see where stuff is, what's going on, and uh, that'll really be about it. So the first thing I want to do is go through the stats for the team for the year. So we'll go through our player stats. Uh, Bigger Mayfield, who will no longer be with the team after the season, uh, 4,200 yards, 52 touchdowns, one interception. Uh, this guy is potentially going to be my new quarterback, Will Greer. I picked him. I traded for him. I guess he came in for a minute. I don't remember. Uh, but you know, hey, all right, so rushing Nick Chubb, uh, he ran for, let's see, 2003 yards, 26 touchdowns, averaging 125 yards a game. Um, all right, guys, I'm going to tell you the truth. I franchise Nick Chubb. I'm keeping him one more year and I'm going to try to re-sign him because I would like to keep him around. He is a uh, decent running back. Um, and I didn't, since I'm losing so many other offensive players, I figure if nothing else, I can run the ball. So, oh, uh, nobody else really did anything. I mean, we had five uh, five rushes by this guy. That's really it. Uh, receiving, let's see what we had here. We had Jake Butt with 1,087 yards and 12 touchdowns. ODB, 1,057 and 17. Callaway, 947 and 11. And then Sherfield, 792 and 9. So, uh, Butt, Beckham, and Sherfield will be back. Callaway will not be. Radley will not be. The Val will not be. Johnson will not be. Quadri, I believe, is back. Uh, blocking. Let's see. Who gave up a lot of sacks? Anybody? Oh, boy. Dalvin Johnson gave up 16 of those bad boys. I felt every single one of them. So, uh, yeah, he's my rookie. Hopefully he gets better. Holy crap, because he's still going to be playing. All right. Let's see here. Defense. Mac Wilson. Out of control. Uh, 92 tackles. Let's see here. Sacks. We had eight and a half by Dean Lowry. Avery, who's going to be gone. Taki Taki had five. Henry, Puna Ford, Mac Wilson had a half. Anybody, any interceptions? Anybody in the... See, I'm glad I didn't, I'm not paying uh, Denzel Ward. He didn't even have an interception. And he wants a billion dollars. Like, get out of here, dude. All right, so there's that. Uh, deflections. We have a lot of deflections anywhere. Denzel Ward had four in 16 games. And uh, did we have any defensive touchdowns? Nope, none. So, uh, kicking, let's see. Siebert was 81 of 83 for extra points. And he only missed one field goal out of 10 tries. Why did Bajorquez kick a few? I don't know, dude. Whatever. Anyways, uh, punting. Bajorquez, 56-yard average kick. He only punted 13 times the whole season. I can dig it. Kick return. Quadri, 24 yards of return. All right. 10 return, punt return. Quadri. All right, and I, I did re-sign Quadri. He's not very good, but he's there. So, all right, I'm number two here, Freddie Kitchens, on the uh, all-time list. Let me go and go to the uh, awards for the year. We're going to see who won the yearly awards. Uh, NFL MVP, Chubb and Mayfield. So, Chubb will be gone. Uh, I mean, Chubb will be here, and Mayfield will be gone. Coach of the year, Freddie Kitchens, of course. AFC, Offensive Player of the Year. So, we had... Uh, Browns, Mayfield, and Chubb, uh, Jackson, Ellie, is he going to plays for the Colts? Uh, let's see here. All right, go down to Defensive Player of the Year. CJ Mosley, no Browns players. Miles Garrett for the Oilers, who left our team after last year. Uh, offensive Rookie of the Year, nobody. I had no good rookie offensive players. This year, I probably will, but ne last year, I did not. Defensive Rookie of the Year, dun-dun-dun. Oh, T. Foreman, all the way down at the bottom. So, hey. I'm in there. Best quarterback, Baker. Best running back, Chubb. Best wide receiver, Beckham and Callaway are on that list. Callaway's going to be gone. Offensive lineman, oh, Betonio. And Corbett, who's also going to be gone because he didn't want to sign. Defensive lineman, nobody. Linebacker, nobody. See, this is why my defense is so trash. Defensive back, nobody. Kicker. Yay, my guy. Best kicker. I don't know how. He only made 10 kicks. Anyways, so that is our awards. Let's go to NFL records. Did we break any records this year for a season? Uh, no, we didn't break that. 
past TDs. We came in second behind Peyton at 52. But in last year, we had 50. So we got one better. Um, we'll go down 46 in the first year. So there's all in there. Nick Chubb. Yeah, see, the last two years, he had way more yards. He's not. He's barely on the list. He's He tied O.J. Simpson for 2003. So, yeah, the last two years, he was running wild. What happened was he had a ton of yards the first half of the year. The second half of the year got shut down. Last two years, he did better again. So, it's uh, it was definitely a down year for my running game. Uh, receiving yards, nobody. Receiving touchdowns, nobody. So, all right, let's see if we broke any game records. Nothing on passing this year. Pass TDs, nothing. Rush yards. Chubb has the record, which were both done in 2019. And he actually did it three times. And then rushing touchdowns. Boom. He had five in the Super Bowl. So now he holds the record because he scored five in the Super Bowl. And I'm sure that's the Super Bowl record. Receiving yards in the game. Nobody. Receiving touchdowns. Nope. Nobody can touch those five in a game. And then uh, catches, of course, not. We're not doing any of that stuff. So, all right, let me go ahead and go over here, and we will show you uh, the final team of the Cleveland Browns' this third season and where everybody ranks. So we'll go to the roster. So we have uh, QB. We have Baker Mayfield, who will be gone. Is W. Greer, Will Greer, will be at least this year's quarterback. I might draft one. I'm not sure. Um, but we shall see. He, I don't think he's going to be that great, but I mean, we're going to have to work with 73 guys. E halfback. We're going to keep Nick Chubb. All the rest of those guys are gone. Actually, this guy may stay, but he's garbage. I mean, he's a, a rookie. Trey Madden will be here. He is wonderful. Wide receivers. We got Odell who will stay. He'll be 30 next year. I think this is next year. This is last year. Sherfield will be here. And Oh, this guy, Dylan Mitchell. Where the heck did he? Oh, he must be my practice squad. So he's a 74, so he'll be there. Quadri is our kick returner. He'll be there too. Um, a couple of these other scrubs down there will be there. So I may end up picking up somebody else. I may trade Odell. Who knows? I probably will keep Odell one more year, to be honest. Tight end, Jake Butts hanging out. He'll be here. Dallas DeVoe is around two. He's a rookie. He is slow. God, God he's bad. All right, left tackle. We got some got some old boys, so we need some we need some depth at linemen. Uh, this guy will be gone, I believe, but we have this guy to fill in for him. Center, he's around. These two guys should be good for a little bit. Right guard, he's gone, but he gets to pop up. And then right tackle, he is gone, but we get this guy who gave up all the sacks. Great. All right, left end. Lowry's going to be around for another minute. And Daquan Brown was a rookie guy. He didn't get any better. Willie Henry. And C. Thomas, I think they're both going to be hanging out a little bit. Then we got Ralph Hawkins, who I drafted, who has gotten better. Collins is gone. Puna Ford will be there, though. Uh, Avery's gone, so Taki Taki is the man. And then we have these uh, middle linebackers. Ragland's getting old. I may throw him on the trade block because I want these other guys to step up. These guys have uh, definitely been getting better, but they haven't had much of a chance. Uh, we're outside linebacker, Foreman. He's he's good. Kirks, he's going to be gone. He's went downhill. Uh, Ward is gone, but we got Greedy. And then I need some other, I need some depth bad. But uh, free safety. Yeah, we got some, we got Redwine. He's he's all right. Strong safety. Hillis, or yeah, Hollis. I, I drafted him not long ago. Um, and let's see here. We'll go to kicker. We got Siebert. He'll be around for a bit. And then we have Bajorquez. He'll be around for a bit too. So what's our draft pick situation look like? We, holy crap. We have a one and a two. And then one, two, three, four, five fourth round picks. A five, a five, a five, and a seven. Wow, that's really weird. All right, cool. I don't remember. Oh, I think I traded the third round pick for that quarterback. Oh, so I probably should use him, I guess. Yeah, I guess we'll uh, we'll try to we'll try to do that. Tells me in the future I need to stock up on fourth round picks. Uh, scouting in case there's any good ones. So uh, here's all the players that are going to be gone in the team. So we have Collins is gone, Logan's gone, Amir is my backup. He's gone, gone. Tony Callaway, Avery, Corbett, DeValve, Kirksey, 
Connor McGovern, Ratley, I'm going to let go, uh, Ola B.C. Johnson, Chad Thomas, and TJ Carey, they're all going to be gone. So that's really it, everybody. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do the offseason video next where I will try to get free agents and the draft and all that stuff, rebuild the team for season four. It's going to have a quite a bit of a, of a different look. But uh, that is all the time we have for today's episode of the season review of season three. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe, send the video to your friends. I mean, get us out there. Uh, that's the best thing you can do for us. Much appreciated. But for Jonas, I will catch you on the next one. For now, I am out.